Um, so what I'm going to do today is one of my favorite um, super easy quick styles. I'm really, really a lazy natural. So one of my New Year's resolutions was to style my hair more. So I'm going to try to keep on recording videos to help me make sure that I'm styling. Um, this is going to be two braids kind of going back and they're going to um, be pinned onto each other. And then I'm going to do some curl in the front. Um, my hair has been in a pineapple. So... My curls are super, super tight right now, so I'm just going to start with a spray bottle. Um, and this is just water. Um, there was a mixture of water and oils in it from the last time that I did my hair, but I didn't put any more oil in it. Um, after everything's all wet, kind of just work it through. And then I'm going to take a comb and place a deep side part. And so this is going to be the hair that I'm going to curl. Mm. All right, there is good. Let me fix it up. So I'm just going to keep on working on this front middle part of my hair, creating a nice full size square. Um, later on in the video, this is where I'm going to add the curls. So I'm just trying to trying to get a size that I would like and the thickness and fullness that I'm going to like for where my curls will be. I'm making sure to keep the parts as straight as possible because some of them are going to be visible after the hair is curled. So I'm cleaning it up here. Um, and then once I'm done, I'm going to collect all that front middle hair and put it in a hair tie until I need it later. Um, after this, I'm going to start working on the back portion of my hair. What I'm doing now is taking a comb and parting directly down the middle. This is separating the hair into two parts for when I begin the braiding process. So once I got my middle part, I'm going to take one section of the hair and hold it back with a hair tie like I did for the front middle section. And then I'm going to move on to the outside and spray it with some water. Um, keeping the hair wet is just going to help with detangling and getting through the braids really smooth. Natural girls, you're going to always want to start detangling at the bottom and then work your way to the root. That way you're not breaking off any hair. Um, after I detangle with a comb, I go in a brush for some extra smoothness. Um, then I'm going to add my favorite, favorite, um, butter to my hair. I'll link it down at the bottom so you can see where I get it from. Um, a little bit goes a long way, but I do like to put some extra on just to make sure my hair stays moisturized while I'm wearing this style. So I apply it, work it through, and then I'm going to brush it to make sure that it's really, really worked through. Next, I'm going to add a lot of body, um, edge control. This is going to pull back all of my baby hair and make sure my hair is looking super snatched. Um, and just picking up everything, but of course I had to take my glasses off so I can see. Um, I'm going to get the front of my edges and then also clean up that kitchen in the back and make sure I'm smoothing it there. Um, next I'm going in with my little edge brush. Love this thing. This just makes sure that everything is nice and smooth and kind of brings that edge control back onto the other pieces of hair to make sure that I pick them up when I'm braiding. Um, if you need help with braiding, I'm really sorry. I don't know how to teach anyone how to braid. I've been braiding for a long time. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this section here is just go ahead and braid it all the way back, paying attention to make sure that I pick up um, all of the hair and I'm not leaving any out. It's a pretty big section and I'm parting it in a tight braid. So the braid's going to be pretty small and I'm just making sure that as I run my hand back, I'm grabbing any hair that might have be a little further away from the braid, some flyaways, just so it's really clean and super tight looking. And this I'm just going to braid all the way down to the bottom, making sure that I do get the tips braided as well. And then I'll start working on the other side.
All right, so braids done, glasses back on, time to move on and tighten up the ends of these braids. I went and got some bobby pins, so what I'm going to do is pin up the tails just so they're not hanging down and it almost looks seamless in the back, um, kind of like what you would do with a crown braid or a halo braid, whatever you like to call it. So I'm tucking the ends inside the bigger portion of the opposite braid. Um, and then here I could not find another bobby pin, so I'm actually just tucking it in for now and I'll put another bobby pin in tomorrow, but that is how you do the back. And now on to the front of the hair that we sectioned off a little bit earlier. Um, so as I take it down out of the ponytail holder, I'm going to go ahead and create a part in the front. Um, I'm not really paying too much attention to the size because since it is a smaller portion, it's not really going to matter. Um, and then I'm going to section that front off um, into what is going to become about three even parts. I'm going to use Carol's Daughter's Hair Milk. Um, this is a foam. And I take just one pump for this section here and evenly distribute it. Definitely making sure that I focus on the ends. Um, I use my brush to make sure that I have spread it through. And then I'm going to get my perm rod. Um, the perm rod, I'm going to want to start all the way at the tip and roll it up one time to secure that end. And then I'm going to twist the roller around my hair. Um, this is going to help me get a nice corkscrew curl. I'm going to go up as far as I can and then roll one more time and secure the end. You want to make sure that you're securing that perm rod end on the flat side closest to the hair on your scalp. I'm going to do another one here to show you again. So I parted out the middle piece and I'm going to take one pump of the hair milk. Distribute that evenly throughout the piece of my hair, making sure I work it in really good. Um, the piece of hair does get really, really wet, but that is perfectly fine for these curls. Um, using the brush to brush it through, and then I'm going to grab the next perm rod, placing it on, rolling it all the way down to the tip, rolling it up one time, and then again, I'm going to wrap that perm rod around the hair, roll up once, twice, um, however much you need to get it nice and tight and then secure that end and just a third time so that we make sure we get it. So one pump of the hair milk distributed it evenly and then going to brush. It's really easy once you try this, um, but it will take a few tries to get the hang of wrapping that perm rod because most people are really used to just curling or um, sorry, rolling a roller up. So start at the tip. Roll one time to secure, and then we're wrapping all the way till we can't wrap anymore. Then we roll and secure on the flat side closest to the scalp. Um, so I'm going to continue a few more of these and then just kind of speed it up because now that you've seen it, it's just going to be repetition throughout the top. And you get the gist, so that's it for tonight. So, good morning. Um, got a little bit of makeup on. Going to start working on taking this hair down. Um, first, I am going to clean up these edges. They just got a little bit frizzy overnight, definitely right beside my ear and in the back. So, I'm going to touch those up first. So now I'm going to work on taking the rollers out. And I'm just going to use the same motion that I used to put them in, this unwinding around the hair just to make sure that I keep the spring um, and the natural coil of it. Um, I like to hold the hair at the root as I'm working the roller down just to make sure that it doesn't get tangled. It does happen often, which you'll actually see with this next curl here. Um, I don't hold it so it kind of gets hung up on the roller some so you want to make sure that you're just holding it at the end and winding it down so that you're keeping the curl and you're getting the bounce that you like that's what I really like about using this method um so I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of these downs and then I'll be back
So now that they're all taken out, I'm going to spray them with this Design Essentials um, Coconut Mist. This is just going to help eliminate some frizz and give them a nice bit of shine. Um, and then I'm going to take each curl and kind of roll it backwards as if I were to uncurl it. And you'll start to feel it naturally separating. You just kind of want to go with the natural separation of your hair and pull it apart. And then I wrap it around my finger just to kind of keep that bounce and um, to catch any sort of flyaway that would come and to just wrap it right back around the curl itself. Um, and as you kind of straighten the curl out, like I said, you'll feel some separation. So this will tell you where to do it, but you can really break it down as many times as you want, as long as you're feeling it separate by itself and you're not forcing it. Forcing it is where you're going to get that frizz that's going to start making these curls look a hot mess. Um, so I'm going to keep on separating and work through the hair. And then again, I'll be back to show you, um, how to get some lift and body. So now that they're all separated for some lift, I've grabbed my pick and I'm just going to pick some sections and start at the root and just kind of comb outward. This is just going to give me some extra body. Um, I don't go all the way through to make sure that I'm not messing up any of my curls, but I do want to heighten this and kind of shake a few of the curls out so that it's looking more full. It's looking high. It's giving it some volume um, and it's not just looking like a bunch of single curls. Um, since your hair has been in the roller for a while, I mean, you got a lot to play with with these curls before they'll start falling out or getting frizzy. Um, so I pick it a couple times and there you have it. Um, this is the full look all the way in the back, the, um, side that's not curl heavy and the front. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I love this style so much. See ya.